Hello, Randy Rain here, and I have my collection of Tommy Sylvania Family's animatronic critters. Now, I've already done two videos on these. I started off with this little girl bear, and what the little bears do is they're sound activated, and you play this tape that comes with them, and they're talking, and they tell a story, and the mouth moves to the, the words, and the eyes move. And then I got a hold of this little girl rabbit and boy bear, and I did a video on them. And with the rabbit, the mouth moves and the ears twitch. And now I have the little boy rabbit, but I also have these. Now these are sound activated as well, but their mouth doesn't move. These little critters dance. Now this one uh, seems to be working as far as I can tell, but this one has some really bad corrosion in the battery terminals. So, need to fix this one, and let's have a look at how they're working. I'm also going to fix this little boy rabbit as well. And I've been working on an idea on how to make a little show out of these things, where one of them will uh, move and talk without the others. It's kind of tricky, but I think I figured it out. So, let me get started. Okay, let's have a look at these things. Go ahead and strip them down. And you can see on the bottom here is where the batteries go. And this one already put some batteries in there. You can see this one's pretty clean. The battery terminals look really good. It's kind of dirty though. It has a spot on the back of it. And it appears that all it really does is just kind of shake like this. And the arms swing as it shakes to the music. Now if I open up this one, we can see we've got corrosion down here. So I haven't even tested this one. I can also see this one, one of the arms, this arm doesn't swing very well. So as it spins, that arm doesn't swing very much. And you can see here how this one... I don't know. I guess they're just supposed to be free swinging. I'm not sure. I haven't even looked at these. So, let's start. Let's start with the bear and get this one working. Okay, seems like the wrong one to start with. Let's start with the top. As you can see, the arms, they just swing. Oh, that screw wasn't even screwed all the way in. I'll probably get this off now. See what's going on here? Oh, there went the door. There's the little microphone on the belly. And this pops out. Oh, that's kind of neat. Clever idea. Little electronics. So got a little screw here. And the microphone. Go ahead and take it out. You're not popping out of there. Okay. Well, if you, are you glued in? If you're glued in, why did you have that? I'm not sure. Does that just come off? It does. Mm, that goes in there. Okay, with this gearbox, got the motor gear here, and it's turning this. Got some clear gears for some reason. It's odd. And then this, and it turns this thing. So it looks like the motor just turns, and that thing just spins. Not sure why it needs so much electronics to do that. And there's a screw here and a screw that I don't know how in the world you're supposed to get to. I'm going to try to pull this out. Oh, there it goes, just like that. That was easy. And that comes out. And I'm pretty sure there isn't anything else in here. But I'm going to have a look anyway. 
Okay, I have to pull this off. And I'm not going to because I can see down in here. And there is nothing in there. It's hollow, so all the gears are on the outside. Okay, well, I don't need to worry about that then. That's a waste of time. There's nothing in there. All that does is hold the motor in place. Guess what? If you guess that that gear was split, then you are correct and have been paying attention. And if you guess that's a tin tooth gear, you are correct. There you go. Well, I see why this one wasn't spinning very well. It's got some sort of thread caught all into it. I guess it's some sort of electrolysis type of thing because it's always the negative that's corroded. So I'm going to desolder this guy. And I need to clear some of this solder out. So I'm going to use my method as you heat it up like this and you hit it like that. And then what you do is you pop this here. should come out and see what it looks like and I like to use this stuff seems to work pretty well just spray that in there and let it soak I can see some around here so I'm just gonna spray some of that in there as well so while that's doing its thing I'll move on to the dirty bunny see some screws up in the ears as well Bunny's gray, but it has a brown gearbox here where the bear is brown and it has a gray gearbox. Okay. Now this one did work, but that gear is broken as well. You have to pull this out. Not sure why they used the gears with the lip on it there. But as you see, it's cracked. I'm not using one with that little ridge or lip or whatever you want to call it. Doesn't really need it. Everything works good on this one. I don't think I need to take this apart because yeah once again these things these things are clean as clean can be a lot cleaner than the bunny is so I think this one's done You can see down in there it's turning blue. Corrosion. It's a very pretty blue color. <laughs> Go ahead and work on this little boy rabbit and you can see really bad corrosion here and it's even gone on the negative side here. So I have to remake this one. Yeah, these you have a a little anal probe here to get that screw out. You can watch the other videos on how I fix these, but this one, the gear is broken here as well. Not completely split, but it's on its way. I've never seen corrosion this bad before. 
That is just kind of disgusting right there. There's even corrosion on this potentiometer right here. Am I going to have to replace that? Look at that. Oh, that's in bad shape. That's not good at all. Okay, I just need to undo this. Go ahead and pop this out. Look how fast this stuff works. I just put this in. You can see how I'm like cleaned up, but if I just do a little bit of this, broken. Yeah, you can see just how bad that thing is. And maybe you can see it. It says 20K. Okay, this looks really good. Time to put it back. Like that. Make sure you get the door in place. Two screws into here. And then you gotta make sure this gets put in right here. Like so. This. work and they seem to be dancing to me talking here. All right. Well, anyway, get back to that rabbit that's in bad shape. All right. I wasn't able to find a variable resistor like the one they had, but I was able to find a potentiometer that's 20K, which is essentially a variable resistor. Just I just need to use just two of the poles. So one of these and this one. Now for the other side, I'm just going to use a wire. So now I need to make the battery terminals. Alright, there's my piece. So something like this is about as best as I'm going to get. And there you have it. There's my terminals. So I have my full Sylvanian family's collection here. I've got two little rabbits, a boy and a girl, two bears, boy and girl, and then two dancers, both a rabbit and a bear. Now I've been wanting and trying to figure out a way to make these programmable. Because if I was to play some music, they would all activate at once. I want to be able to make them activate them when I want them to. So it's like a showbiz, pizza, Chuck E. Cheese, uh, Disney, Country Bear, Jamboree type of thing. 
I finally figured out an idea because there's rules. First of all, they have to be able to work the same as always and they can't be detected. You can't have like a plug. So there can't be a plug on these things. And they have to be able to work regularly that you won't know at all that there's any kind of modification. So nothing on the outside. Something on the inside is fine, but it still has to work normally. That's a rule. Another rule is that the stage has to be clear. So, because one idea was maybe having little speakers that come up and go to each one of the microphones at the belly. Didn't like that idea. So that's made the rule. You can't have little things popping up out of the stage. It has to be a clean stage. So take all these off here, put these on, and they have to be able to work. So I finally got it figured out. I've built this box and that's what's coming up next in my videos. So I'm going to show you how I make this thing into a little act that can be played. So it's going to have a video screen for the backdrop and I'll play a video and there may be video moving or it just might be a scene for the background. But anyway, the audio is going to be taking care of them picking which one talks and also playing the music. And then here's something else interesting. A while back I needed a printed circuit board, a PCB. And so I decided to purchase a PCB from PCB Way. You see them advertised on YouTube all the time. Well, anyway, later PCB Way contacted me, not knowing that was me that even purchased those, but contacted me and said they wanted to do a sponsor of one of my videos. And so I had just purchased some PCBs from them. And so they're good. Uh, there's nothing wrong with these PCBs. Uh, they're great, work perfectly, exactly what I need. I use them all the time on my uh, a little magic trick that I make. So, they're the ones going to be sponsoring the, this video, so I'm making these. So, hey, go check out PCB Way. If you need a PCB, they'll do it. They also do 3D printing. So, when you contact me asking me to help you fix your robot or whatever, and I send you the 3D STL file, and you go, oh, I don't have a 3D printer. Well, you go to pre PCB Way. They have 3D printers. They also have CNC machines, all the stuff. So anyway, they're going to help me out on this. So stay tuned for that. Also, I want to thank these people. These are the real sponsors right here. These are my patrons. These are people helping me out. And I couldn't do any of this stuff without them. Uh, there's some perks if you want to go check it out. Uh, you can, high enough, I'll send you stuff and make you stuff. Uh, otherwise, you get some videos early. I also do some chats every once in a while. And you always have contact with to me. And if you need help fixing anything like this that I do, you always have that. So go check that out. Anyway, stay tuned for this. This will be neat. Eats bananas by the bunch For breakfast, dinner, and for lunch He's hungry after every meal Because he only eats the peel All the coo 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 bird In the pickle, 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 pickle tree The coo 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 bird In the pickle, 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 pickle tree He goes to school both day and night he wants to learn to read and write He never learned a thing, it's true But the teacher learned to say cuckoo All the cuckoo, 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 cuck